Hello, my Scorpio babies. So, this is your weekend reading for August 18th, 19th, 20th, and the 21st. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This will be a longer than a 10 minute video, so you might want to just go and catch it over on YouTube, or you can watch part here and then go and finish the rest over on YouTube. You will go to Tara's Real Talk Tarot so you can get the extended version. And um, I will go back to daily readings on Sunday. So, all right. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way it's convenient for you. Click the bell notification so you can get notifications when I post something. Like, comment, share. Let me know if you resonate. All right, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Scorpio babies for this weekend? We have the Ace of Swords. You could be looking for clarity or you're looking to make something clear. But it's a new beginning. It's like a new truth. There's a truth coming towards you or a truth that you want to place outward. We have the lovers. Now the lovers is somebody that you love. It does not technically have to be a romantic partner. It's just somebody that you love and it could also be yourself. So once again, take it how it resonates for you. But you're gonna get clarity on some kind of love connection. But the 10 of swords, you're tired of fighting it. It's like, I'm not gonna fight this anymore. We have the three of wands in reverse. It's like you have no more patience for it. You don't want to fight it anymore. You're going to give into it. And you're not looking for things to... Um, it's like I'm just not going to... not doing it. I'm not fighting anymore. This could be you caving into somebody or somebody else caving into you. But we do have the seven of swords. So there could be some kind of deception going on on your end or on their end. But I'm not sure which one. We have the temperance. The temperance is a hot and cold energy. So this tells me that you could be getting some kind of clarity in a love situation. Um, bottom deck energy is the eight of pentacles. You could be getting clarity in some kind of love connection. Some kind of clarity in... Uh, maybe somebody wants to make something work. Somebody you have been fighting. Um, somebody you have been fighting against even. But you feel like they haven't shown up for your fight. With the three of wands, you're like, yeah, maybe the love is there. And maybe I'm getting the clarity. But I no longer have patience for this. I feel like that you are looking at... You're feeling like they are being deceptive. Or you feel like they are deceiving you in some way. There could be lies that are surfacing. Like maybe they come to you and they're like, okay, I have to clear the air. And maybe they told you that they lied to you about this or maybe they did that. And so you look at them and you're like, you know what? I'm just done with this. I'm not, I'm, I'm good. We have the temperance. You're trying to have patience for a certain situation. But this is also a very hot and cold type energy. It's very yin and yang. Now, this very well could be you stepping out of your own deception game. Like, maybe you are very clear that you care about somebody, but you're fighting that you care that you care about someone. So, if you're fighting something internally, and you're like, okay, I love this person, or I love this situation, but I'm not going to say that. I feel like you're getting to the point where you have to say it. And when it comes to the Seven of Swords, you could be lying to yourself or lying to another person about how you really feel. But there is a sense of balance here of you needing to balance things out. You're needing to heal things. You're wanting to take patience with the situation of saying, hey, I want to put work into this. We have the worker bee. 
You could be having bees around you a lot lately. There could be some kind of... Uh, you're looking at it and you're like, I want to put work into this because you know you're going to get something back out of it. You know you're going to get something solid back out. And now that I read it like this, this is how I kind of feel like it is. So there could be somebody who is offering you clarity or offering you love and you've been fighting them off. You've lost your patience. They're deceiving to you and you're like, fuck that shit dot com. I'm out. I'm going to balance my own shit and I'm going to move on and put work into something else. But for some of you, this is about you getting out of your own deception of lying to yourself about something or lying to another person about something. Your words and your actions don't match or, you know, maybe you're keeping something from another person out of protecting yourself or maybe you think it's too soon. Just now Spirit said that some of you think it's too soon to speak what you truly feel. But you want to do that. You're losing patience with even yourself. It's like, I'm, I'm fighting to hold this in, but I can't do it anymore. And I'm trying to find a different strategy on how to I how I can do this. I feel like, like with the temperance card, it's all about finding that main ingredient to put into your recipe book. It's finding that main ingredient and saying, okay, this is what I need to complete this cycle. But the temperance is very yin and yang and it balances it out. And that very well could be how you feel around this energy. You feel balanced. You feel like they can help you. You feel like that they are willing to work with you and for you as well as for themselves. And this is the type of energy that you would really love to go for. And it's like, okay, I don't care what is going on in my life. I don't care what is going on on my plate. I'm always going to have things to work at. I'm always going to have things to work for. There is no perfect time. With the three of wands in reverse, you're like, there's no perfect time. So the time is now. It's like you're saying, I want to make this happen now. And I need to make this happen now before I lose my chance. And so that could be why you are strategizing on doing something different, thinking outside the box, stepping outside of your comfort zone. But you're putting the work in, like the work is all right here. You're like, I don't mind working at it. I don't mind because I know that I'm gonna get something back from it. And it's gonna be very rewarding Spirit, what do you, what does my Scorpio babies have to look forward to? Spirit, what does my Scorpio babies have to look forward to? What do my Scorpio babies have to look forward to? What do my Scorpio babies have to look forward to? I feel like that you're moving on from a very depressing time. We have the moon, we have the world, and we have the empress. You're wanting to plant seeds. You're wanting to leave the past behind. You're, you're wanting to go ahead and step into the unknown. And by you doing that, you are opening up a whole new world for yourself. Like there's a cycle completing here. It's like you're moving out of this sad time. And you're like, you know what? It feels great when I'm in, with this person. I, I feel great when I am in this light. We can grow. We can make things happen. This is happiness to me. Like, there's a person that you feel, like, extremely happy around. And there's somebody who implements your world and you implement theirs. And you don't know what's going to happen yet, but you're willing to take the chance on that. We have the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here. And I feel like that you have been trying to turn a blind eye to it. But there's no um, there's no escaping it anymore. Bottom deck energy is a seven of swords in reverse. <laughs> See, you're stepping out. It's like you are not, you're wanting to be honest about it. So now that I see it like this, I know it's you who's holding back, Scorpio. You're holding back. But I feel like that you're going to let this person know how you feel. You look at this person as your empress. Like, 
they are everything. I can build with this person. I can build businesses with them. They can do things individually. I can do things individually. We can work together while working on ourselves at the same time. There's no need for you to feel um, inferior to this person. This person doesn't talk, down talk you. They understand you. You know, it's almost like there's an unsaid uh, communication. Like there's an unsaid language between the two of you. It's almost telepathic. You could be finishing each other's sentences or you could be um, saying the same words at the same time, using the same expressions. You know, I feel like that this person, like, you really feel seen and you don't have to try too hard. It's like you're being who you actually are and they care about you for you. And you see them as somebody who plants seeds, who challenges you. You know, they are very grounding. They're very motherly without it being kind of creepy, you know, but... You know, but for some of you, this this is like a birth card. You know, the Empress is all about birth. The Empress is all about birth. So there's going to be a lot of love here. There's going to be a lot of growth. There's going to be a lot of birth ideas happening. Um, some of you could even be pregnant and you're happy about it. But that's for a handful, you know. The Empress is all about, um, for some of you, this could be, like, for some of you, this could be about, like, you not knowing that there are some birthing type ideas happening. But it's going to make you happy, you know. Like, this is going to be make you happy. I'm just going to spit it out. For some of you, you're going to find out your partner's pregnant. Or for some of you, you're going to find out that you're pregnant. But it's going to be something that's that's very happy for you, full of love, and it's going to change your world. And with the moon card being here right now, it's just something that you don't know. Or you don't see it coming to surface yet. And that is a specific message for some of you. Not all of you is going to re resonate with that. But... For most of you, you know, and it's going to change you, you know, this is going to change you. It's going to make you be less deceptive or it's going to make you come clean with how you feel. It's going to make you come clean with how you feel, Scorpio. But for some of you, yes, this is just birthing new ideas, birthing new, you know, planting seeds, making plans for the future. All right, Spirit, what advice do you have? Wow, for my Scorpio babies. All right, so, okay, we already got four that came out. So we have the otter. <laughs> Welcome initiations. Be open through the transitional time. So some of you are going to be, you know, you're like really opening up. To new ideas, new possibilities. Things are changing really fast. And it's about you opening up to the idea and being at one with it. And, you know, being happy for what is going on around you. We have the owl, sight. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. This could be anybody around you. This could be anyone around you. You could have people around you who are like not agreeing with what you're doing or how you feel or whatever the case may be, but they're not living your life, Scorpio. You're living your life. And it's really important that you let go of situations that you cannot control. If you cannot control what a person thinks, what they do, you can only control what you do. And sometimes you can control what happens for you. <laughs> But it's still the point that only you can do what you can do for yourself. We have the hair, strength, take time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. This is all about keeping that open mind. Keeping an open mind and welcoming in happiness is very important. So we have the dragon, Gaia's gateway, access Earth's inner wisdom, get in touch with your ancestors, get in touch with who you truly are. 
get in touch with the earth, go outside, ground yourself, walk barefoot in the grass, do what you got to do, meditate, but get in touch with who you are. We have the chameleon, which is soul tribe. It is safe to be seen. It is definitely safe to be seen. You are around people or around a person who sees you for who you are and they still love you. You are amongst family. You are with friends. Just so you know, with the Seven of Swords being in reverse like this, this tells me that you're moving out of an area of you not lying to yourself anymore of what we talked about previously. We also have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a very fiery, passionate new beginning. We have the Six of Pentacles, which means very reciprocal. Very reciprocal activity so it's like what you give you're definitely going to be getting back with the four of cups you could be holding back your emotions a little bit just for the sake of okay i don't want to give too much too soon let me see what this other person is willing to give and then i can reciprocate from that point and it's kind of a defense mechanism but with the strength card being in reverse it tells me that you can let your walls down around this person you can let your walls down. You don't have to be so strong all the time. You don't have to. You have somebody that you can rely on. Somebody that you can depend on. We have the devil in reverse. The devil in reverse means that you're not going to be a part of anything toxic. This person is not toxic. They do not give into toxic behavior. They're pretty self-disciplined. And they're going to expect you to do the same. So you can trust them when you're not in the room. You can trust them to have your back when you're not in the room. But they are going to deserve that kind of energy back from you. Loyalty. We also have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands tells me that the relationship between the two of you can be fun and light and kind of young. You know, like joking around, having fun. You know, um, not taking life too seriously. I'm sorry I didn't go into these before I went to the advice. But I kind of flipped it around, but I still did it. So, you know. All right. So that's what I have for you for this weekend, Scorpio. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon.